looks like a bag of money. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, this lighting's kind of cute. The background is giving peasant, but the lighting, the lighting set up, it was kind of nice, I think. It looks nice. I don't know how it's going to look when I upload. But anyways, you already know the deal by the title. Today is an unboxing video. Hashtag new year, new face. Okay, well, this will be posted after the new year, way into the new year. But I am recording this on January 30th, okay? But yeah, if you are new here, I am the one and only Abby J. So go ahead and subscribe because you're going to want to by the end of the video. Uh, hashtag watch it all the way through because trying to get these watch hours up. But that's besides the point. Let's get straight into the video. So, <laughs> hashtag I went on a shopping spree. Ah, new year, new face, like I said. So I went on a little shopping spree. I, um, with Christmas money, I ordered stuff from Ulta, Fenty Beauty, Shein, and this other um brand called the bougie brand or whatever it's like some lifestyle planner so i am looking forward to doing unboxings of all of them ulta and fenty i'm doing together because that's just makeup stuff and she and i'll probably do by itself and the bougie planner is gonna be a whole another resolutions video type thing but they're all coming so stay tuned i'm gonna start with fenty because i mainly ordered from ulta i just ordered fenty separately because number one, they don't sell Fenty at Ulta. And number two, I had 10% off. Um, hashtag baddie on a budget. But I'm about to open it. <sighs> and then get into it. So from Fenty, I ordered um, a foundation. So I have been looking for a foundation for the longest time. Lately, I haven't been, not lately, but for a very long time. I'm gonna finish opening this because I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, so for a very long time, I was not wearing foundation because I could never find a foundation in my correct color. And by that, I mean, all foundations were very, very orangey. And I watched a whole bunch of videos where they were like, add blue pigment and stuff like that. And it just, nothing was working for me. But um, me and my cousins over break, we went to the makeup shop playing around. I, the, the Fenty one worked amazing. I already use a concealer, so I know it's a great brand. So I decided to invest in it because it is a $36 foundation. <sighs> kind of hurt my pockets, Riri, but power to the people. So I decided to support. But yeah. So as you can see, this is my skin tone color. So if you have the same skin tone color as me, then you can probably get the same foundation shade as me. So this is the box that it, it's nothing special. Rihanna don't got to prove herself. We already know she legit. So this is the boxing. The color I got was 44. Yeah, 445. It's warm olive, I believe. I got the Pro Filter, the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I get matte bases, like a matte base, a matte foundation, because when I use my shedding spray, it's like a radiant one. So that's the kind of glow I get from it. So I always do matte. Plus, I have naturally oily skin. Anyways, so... I'm gonna open this. I was gonna open it nicely, but forget it. I broke it. it says shake well. Um, so when you open it, and this is my first time unboxing, obviously. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I feel oh, I feel rich. Oh. Anyways, it's my first time. Well, it's not my first time ordering from Fenty Beauty. All my other concealers my ex used to buy for me, like all my makeup stuff. So technically I never bought, but I used it. But now I'm buying for myself. Hashtag focusing on myself. Uh, anyways, this is nothing new though. Uh, keep my tongue in my mouth. Oh my gosh, I do too much. Anyways, yeah. It's 445. I'm pretty sure it's warm olive. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But the number 445 for sure. This is how it comes. I think I got the one. Yeah, there's two types. So there's one with this spout and there's one with like a different spout. I wanted the one that I can just personally just go like that. So that's how it looks. Um, just to do a little test on my hand. Oh, it does say shake well, doesn't it? Ain't nothing to shake. But just to show y'all how it blends. Do a few pumps. Okay, that was way too much. But this is how it is when I just put dot. I really hope this is my color, actually. I put way too much. But I'm gonna blend, 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 blend. It's giving orange and I... Okay, this is how it looks. Seems pretty good cover. You can tell that's where I actually put it. 
but it's pretty good coverage in my opinion. So this is the one that I didn't, this is the one that I did. So it looks good to me. I love it. I tried it in the store, so I knew, but <clears throat> Fenty Beauty 445 foundation. The color is warm. All of it's the soft matte long wear one. It was $36. Um, and Fenty always has free shipping, if y'all didn't know that. So that was the one thing I got from Fenty. Like I said, they didn't have it from Ulta. So next on the jacket, I got stuff from Ulta. Ulta, I got a couple of things. Ooh. Okay, once again with Ulta, they don't gotta prove themselves. They just gonna throw some stuff in the bag. So, ooh, I don't know what I wanna go in first. We'll go in order of application. So, first things first, I invested in a primer. So there was this one girl that, um, if I can find the TikTok, I will put it up there. But I was basing off her TikTok because I wanted a new routine. Before I use, matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. Okay, before I was using this Wet n Wild Face Primer, the matte, um base it was cool and all i just it wasn't giving that it was a great matte primer now granted it was the only primer i've ever experienced with it was my first one but it just it wasn't giving so i wanted to start a new one and so i invested it's still wet and wild but it's a primer serum and it's hydrating um so this is i feel like this is gonna go a longer way because it's oh I'm sorry y'all it's liquid and this one so this one is 0.84 fluid ounces this one is um 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce so it's a little bit more in here it's a little glittery i don't know if y'all can see for real but it's a cute cute color it's giving bougie um this is how it oops that's the consistency of it um it seems cool i think i will like it i will probably do a full face i was gonna say saturday but i think i'm gonna do a video of me doing a full face with all the new products so i'll probably wait so i can record that for you guys hashtag you're welcome so that is a new primer that i got there's no specific shade to this it's just um wet and wild primer serum and i'll probably if it's not too much work i'll add the links hashtag i'm lazy so next this one i am super excited about granted Riri, i love you i support you that's why i have the foundation like i said i used to use a fenty beauty foundation um concealer i used the colors i used to use the color 420 and then i ended up getting 410 and it's obviously it's just a tad bit brighter i prefer 410 now because it you know brightens up my face a little more but 420 and 410 were the shades that i could use in the concealer line of Fenty Beauty was a Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This was it, kind of small, Riri. Kind of small, and it was $26. And no, 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 no shade. Um. 26, anyways, you're paying for the name at this point. But I invested in the ColourPop Foundation. I've heard so many great things about this foundation. So I'm really excited to use it um it's still low-key small but it was five dollars so come on um let me see this is 0.30 fluid ounces and this is 0.27 real i need you to do better baby but yes the color pop pretty and fresh i'm actually very very excited to use this concealer um this color is or the shade is medium dark 145w I don't know if y'all can see the bottom. Like I said, I'll try and link it. But um, I'm excited about this. It's a hyaluronic creamy concealer. I use hyaluronic acid in my um, skincare routine. So I'm familiar with the chemicals. I know it won't break out my skin. This is how it um, comes out. Just a concealer. I'm going to put it on top of... This is the hand I did my foundation, right? I think so. I'm gonna put it on top of the foundation just a little bit just to see that's how it is i really hope it's not was this oh this is the same finger oh no it wasn't okay just to see how it blends looks good to me that looks good okay so this is my new concealer that i am using and i'm super excited 
Um, next I got. Ooh, did this open? Oh, okay, it's a peel here. I was about to say, child, mm -mm. run me my coins back. But this wet and okay, as y'all can see, I kind of use a lot of wet and wild. But wet and wild becoming. Ooh, y'all almost didn't get this video. It cut out, and then I couldn't find the video. Ooh, that scared me. I am super excited to use this, the Wet n Wild Banana Powder Setting Powder. I've heard amazing things about this. I normally use the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Medium. It's what I normally use. I'm sick of it. it. It does its job, but it don't be given. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, so I'm super excited to use it. Um. It's in the banana shade. I don't think there's any other shade other than banana, to be honest with you. My whole routine is pretty much wet and wild photo focus, but I'm using the loose setting powder. I'm very, very excited about it. So it says peel here. Okay. So I'm going to peel here. I don't want it to spill out though, but I'm going to show y'all. what I was afraid of. <gasps> Can y'all see? Oh, wow. Look, it's little dots. Well, it's not actually little dots, but the way it was. I thought this was a black paper, it's clear. But this is how it is. It's I like this, like it's kind of like a tray. The other one had always spilling over. So I really, really like this. I bang with this already, so we will see when I use it. Um, and yeah, that's that. And then last but certainly not least, where do I put this? I'll put this one. Oh, never mind, it's not last. I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a whole makeup routine. Um, I am very, very excited about this because I have been very, very ghetto. And apparently using, I'm still kind of new to the whole makeup thing. Not really, but I really am trying to up my game. I'm trying to give multi-millionaire influencer, you feel me? But yeah, so I have been using a blender for everything, literally everything and the same blender at that. So apparently brushes is the way we go now. And so I brought the, I bought the e.l.f. brush glow, brush and glow face brush kit this comes in this package um i'm keeping that because i want to read that these are super cute i like this i also am buying a makeup sand from shane it's super cute i'll put a picture here can't wait given multi-millionaire influencer ah. so this is how it comes they come in little cases i really like that um but apparently we're supposed to be applying our makeup with brushes ladies if you knew that good for you it feels great. My skin's kind of oily. But it feels good. Oh no, how am I supposed to put it back in? Oh, it's easy. It has a hole in the top. Cool. This is how they come. It has a flawless face brush. It has an angled blush brush. This is how they... Okay, this is how they are. I need my nails done. I'm getting my nails done. Y'all be patient with me, okay? The new set really finna hit. That's how that brush is. No, this new set go crazy. I'm gonna show y'all a picture. But, um, yeah. It has another brush. This one is a highlighting brush. I really need a highlight brush because I never do highlight here and I want to start. And then I have a fan brush. Ooh. Skipping Princess and the Frog. Something about it reminds me of Princess and the Frog. It's a little fan. But these are the brushes. I'm very, very excited to use these. I feel like this will also up my makeup game. Y'all not ready. Hashtag new year, new face, baby. Put hashtag new year, new face in the comments. But anyways, yeah, I got these. I don't even know where they went, y'all. I got these brushes. Oh, booty, booty. Got these brushes as well. Ignore my hair, y'all. I worked a very, very long shift at work. What is that? And like I said, I worked a very, very long shift at work. So I'm just kind of tired. My wig is tired. I just, but I wanted to record the video. Well, I wanted to open the products and I knew I wanted to record it. So I had to suck it up and make a YouTube video. 
I'm kidding. It's not sucking it up. I love you guys. I love making videos. Last but not least, this is actually the last one. I got a Morphe setting spray. It's a setting mist, actually. Continuous setting mist. So, with setting spray, I never did it that way because of the setting spray I had. I don't have it over here, but the setting spray that I had had sparkles in it. And that radiant one I was talking about it had sparkles in it. So, it would always make everything so sparkly. And with setting spray, you're actually supposed to like set your face and then put your foundation, then set your face, then put your concealer, then set your face. Like you're supposed to do it after every single layer of something that you do. And I never did that because that was just too many sparkles. So I got a, like an actual setting mist that you're supposed to continuously spray. It's the Morphe one, continuous setting mist. I'm not even sure how much it was. I cannot remember, but I will hopefully link it in the box below. It is 2.8 ounces. Um, I'm really, really excited for this, actually. I don't know how small. Let me show y'all how it... Oops. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm, it smells like perfume. Let me stop. <laughs> but it do smell... Ooh. It smells good, y'all. Yeah. It smells good. Really good. But I'm excited about this and the way it sprays out. So it's really, it's giving hairspray mist. So um, it seems like it has good coverage. I don't know if y'all saw the spray properly, but the way it came out, it's a great spout funnel thingy. But that is all I ordered from Ulta. I'm very, very excited. So recap of everything. We got the Fenty Beauty Foundation. We got the oh, I did that backwards, but the Primer Serum, Wet n Wild. We got the ColourPop Foundation. Ah, I'm excited about this, I really am. The ColourPop Foundation. We have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Loose Setting Powder. We have, this just like a bag of money. I spent, anyways. <laughs> we have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. My brush and glow face brushes. And that is it, I think. I feel like I'm missing something, y'all. I don't know. I think that is it. But that concludes my video for today. I'm super, super excited. So there will be a part two of this video of me going through everything, like a step-by-step -step of how, yeah, my, my first time using all the products. And so, um, yeah. Cause I never contour, I never do any of that. And I wanna start. Hashtag snatched face on 2022. Uh, plus it's gonna be my first year in college. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this concludes my video. You already know the deal. If you got time for one, you got time for a ton. So go ahead and watch another video on this channel. And until next time.